All right, we're doing section two of our lesson, Understanding Equivalent Fractions. Okay. So go ahead and get your composition book. Okay. And, uh, and do this problem for me. Go. All right. Yeah, here. What goes here? One. Good. What goes at the bottom? Two. Perfect. Okay. So the fraction for this one is one half. Yeah, here, what goes here? Three. That's the part that's shaded. And what goes at the bottom? Six. That's the whole altogether. So one half is equal to what? What's the fraction here? Three six. They are equivalent fractions because look, on both models, half of it is shaded in. There's different pieces. Okay, but half of the model is shaded in. Okay, that's why these two fractions are equivalent. Perfect. So it says complete the number lines by writing missing fractions. Okay. All right. Look at the top one right here. This one. How many sections are there? I'm going to go from zero and then and then jump each one. One, two, three. How much? Three. So then, what, what's going to be what's going to be my denominator? You just said it. Three. Okay. So then, from zero to the first fraction is what's the fraction? What's the fraction? One third. One third. And then keep going. Two thirds. Two -thirds. Okay. And then one right here is actually three over three, three thirds. Okay. But look at the bottom one. Well, what's going to be my denominator? How do I know that? Well, let's jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay, so what's the first fraction? <clears throat> one six, then two six, then three six, then four six, then five six, and then what's the fraction for that equals one? Six sixths. Okay, which is one whole. Now watch this. Everybody have it? Okay, get a highlighter out for me. Okay, don't don't color this. Just 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 highlight it across one time, okay? Because I don't want to, uh, I don't want it to bleed through the other side of the paper, okay? So when I have a number line <clears throat> on top of each other, okay, I can find out which fractions are equal. Look at one third and go straight across down. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna change colors. Perfect. Go to two thirds and go straight down. Okay. And then go where it says one, go straight down because three over three is going to be equal to six over six. So one third is equal to how many sixths? Two, two sixths. You got to tell me the fraction. Okay. Two thirds is equal to how many fourths? What was that? Four thirds. Okay. So this is one easy way to find out if my fractions are equal or not. Okay. It says write the equivalent fractions for one third and two two uh two thirds. We just did that. <laughs> we just did that. So one third is equal to how many six again? Two six. Give me the fraction, okay? Two six. And two thirds is equal to how many sixths? Four sixths. Got to give me the fraction. Don't just say four. So I want you to do this one by yourself, okay? It's just like this one that we did here. It's just like we did this one, okay? Just like this one. 
But now you're doing this one, number two. Fill in the, the, um, the, the number line with the appropriate fractions, okay? And then what I would do is highlight straight down, straight down, and straight down, and then it'll tell you which what fractions are, uh, are equal to these two, okay? Go. Okay. Yeah, here. What'd you get right here? What'd you get there? One fourth. One fourth? Perfect. What'd you get here, yeah, here? Two fourths. Two fourths. And here? Three fourths. Three fourths. Perfect. How about there at the bottom? One, One what? Three. One eighth. Keep two eighths. Keep going. Three eighths. Four eighths. Five eighths. Six eighths. Seven eighths. And then I told you has to do this, right? And to do that, and to do that. So one fourth. Here's one fourth. Is equal to how many eights? Two eights. Two eights. And then six eights, which is here, is equal to how many fourths? Three fourths. Perfect. Robbie? And how do I know that this was uh, my denominator was eights? I just counted. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how would I know this was fourths? I just jumped and counted the spaces. One, two, three, four. And that was it. So now look at this. You'll see this in your um, uh, I know it assignment, okay? It says shade and amount equivalent to two thirds. So here's two thirds, right? How many sixths am I gonna shade in? Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I, have somebody, I just heard somebody say this. Two? Great. There you go, two. Is that equal? Is that the same amount as the top one? No. So how many sixths am I going to shade in? Four. Four of them. I go like this. I'm going to go from here all the way across till I hit this. And shade this in. You could use your highlighter. It makes it a lot easier. So what fraction did you shade? Now I need a fraction. So what's the fraction of this part right here? Okay. Four is shaded in out of the six total. Four sixths. <clears throat> All right, do this one for me. It says shade in the amount equivalent to four eighths and then write the fraction that you shaded in. Go. All right. So I have to shade all the way across. Like that? No. I only shade all the way up to the end of the one eighth that's shaded in, correct? Awesome. And then, so what fraction did you shade? Okay. First of all, what's my denominator? Sixths? Yes. How many are shaded in? Three. three. So three six is equal to what's the top one? Four eights. Four eights. And these fractions are what we call equivalent fractions.
Excellent. Okay, go to page 488 and, and, and label these three number lines. Go. Okay, the top one, what do I need? One, one what? Like this? Okay, how'd you get the third? Let's see, one, two, I only got two. How'd you count three? Oh, wait, 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 so you did this. Hold on, <clears throat> you did this, you went one, two, three, like that? Oh, no, no, I'm not counting the little lines on, on okay? I'm counting the sections and the way I do that, like a bunny, got to hop, right? One, two. So my fraction for the first one is going to be one over two or a half. Yes? Okay. The second one, look, watch, Jules. One, two, three. So here I have one third and two thirds. The one here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One six, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, and five sixths. Okay. I'm not counting each little line. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not counting each little line. I'm hopping like a bunny to count every section. Okay? Okay? So it says label the, the number lines, then list any equivalent fractions. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use my highlighter. I'm going to do yellow. And look, I'm going to go half. I'm going to go straight down. I'm going to go straight down from here, and I'm going to straight down from here, okay? I'm not going to go straight, I'm not going to do this because there's no fractions above 1 6, is there? No. I'm not going to do 5 6 because there's no fractions above 5 6, right? So let's list them, okay? What's one pair of fractions that are equal? One half in. So hold on. You whoops. Wait, wait, wait. My bad. Sorry. So one half is equal to what? Yeah. So look at the half and go straight down. I get three six. Okay. What's the other one? One third and two six are equal. If I'm right, what are you supposed to be doing? Okay, and then what's the other one? What's the other pair of equi equivalent fractions? Two thirds and four six. So we're going to be working on our equivalent fractions packet. Okay, and we're doing page three and four. All right, so this is page three. You're also going to be doing page four. Okay. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna um, uh, do an example on each page. All right, let's look at page three. Okay, so it says to shade in the equivalent fraction. Okay, to find shading the visual fraction to find the equivalent fraction. So look. I'm just shading this in. Right? So the, look look so I'm just going to go straight across. Uh let's do something smaller. Like this. So this fraction right here is one third. Okay. Now it's equivalent to What's the fraction for the shaded part that I just did? Two. Okay, so two is shaded in. Out of how many, what's the total? 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So two sixths. Let me write that better. Two sixths. Okay. So I'm shading. So I'm shading. I'm shading in this model to match this, and then I'm writing the fraction for the part that I just shaded in. Okay. So that's page three. Okay. Go to page four. Okay, it says, name the equivalent fractions shown. Okay, all right. So, hold on. Oh, I see. Okay, you can't really tell of yours. Okay, so let me just let me just show you. Let me just tell you. Okay, so number one. Number one, I have three six, three fourths, and six eighths. Okay. Cause you can't really tell those that the next one I have one fourth and two eighths. Next one I have six tenths and three fifths. Okay. 